Hello everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fille de la Mer Handmade Soaps. Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of uh, making the Sunset at the Lighthouse cold processed soap. If you haven't seen the pour, I will leave a link right up here so you can go watch it. And in this video, we'll be steaming, cutting, unmolding, and stamping the soaps. Let's go. The soap looks fine. It doesn't have any soda ash. It's really nice and smooth, but we're still going to steam it just to give it this kind of a nice gloss. So let's go. And now it's time to stamp the first set of soaps. I'm gonna try this stamp first. And I like to take rubbing alcohol and spray my soap a little bit with it just so that the stamp doesn't get stuck. And now the second stamp. I think I like this one better. It's faster. <laughs> Both work very well. Um, the first one is surely less noisy, but I really like that, that um, this one is much faster for me. So you have options. <laughs> I will leave the link down below for Sabonri La Bulle as she makes custom stamps and she has pre-made stamps and you can look it up. Oh, these are so pretty. I'm so happy. They look so fresh and bright and summery. And I just love the ruby red grapefruit fragrance oil. It's just perfect for this theme. Grapefruits are sunset colors, right? There's pink grapefruit, yellow grapefruit, red grapefruit. So it seemed like the perfect match for this soap. This, look, this one looks like a landscape. They're all different. There's no two soaps alike. With these types of swirling patterns, you cannot have, well, 
the cut will be symmetrical, but besides that, everything's different. And that's the beauty and the magic of soap making, all the design that can be created. And you can't really control any of that. Sometimes you aim for something and it's a success, and sometimes you aim for something and you get a surprise. <laughs> All done for today. Now the soaps will go into their drying trays for about a month and they will be back listed on the website with their new design. Let me know what you think. Do you like my stamp? What do you think about it? And how about the color combination? Do you think I chose a good scent for a sunset soap? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to check the description box down below as I always leave useful links for makers such as my Facebook group, Makers Collab, uh, tools, resources, and so much more. Take care and I will see you soon. And don't forget to shop my soaps in the link up here, down there, everywhere. Have a great day.